Why, Godfrey Mighty, I hit old Tom. I suppose he's drunk again. Now, Walt, you know down well that I don't never take nothing to drink. Like I says to Mr. Palmer down to his place down at the point just yesterday. I was down there working up on his roof, setting some shingles for him. And you know what kind of a day it was yesterday, cold and raw and damp. And when I come down off that roof, I was mighty well chilled, I tell you. Well, Mr. Palmer, he says, why don't you come in the house and kind of get warmed up by the fire? And uh, maybe I can give you a little drink. Well, I says to him, Mr. Palmer, I ain't had a drink in 35 years. And I recollect just like it was yesterday, the last time I took me a drink. In them days, I used to build books, and uh, and I made coffins, too. And matter of fact, I made most of the coffins the folks up there on the hills buried in. And I recollect I'd just finished building a cap book for Henry Furness's boy. When Charlie Pierce, he came down from the center, Charlie run the general store up there, and he did the undertaking mostly up there. And he come down, and he says, I got to have me a, got to have me a coffin for... Thursday. Well, I says, that's kind of short notice, ain't it? He says, yes, I know it is, and I thought maybe it would help you some. I brought you down a jug of Barbetta's rum. Well, I says, I'll do the best I can. So I started in, and I didn't spare myself none, and neither did I spare the Barbetta's rum. And come Thursday morning, she was all finished. Well, Charlie, he came down Thursday morning, and he says, uh, how about that coffin of mine? And I says, she's all ready down there in the shed. So we went down to the shed, and I opened the door for him, and he stepped in. I noticed he kind of started some. So I went in, and there she sat, and by God, she had a rudder and a centerboard on her. But for my dear, I shall never ask you to build me a casket. <laughs> <laughs>